All right, here's we're going to go through the song, I Am a Poor Wayfaring Stranger. And we're just going to go through the vocabulary for this, so it won't be very song-like. It's a really pretty song, though. And I don't want you to get so caught up in the vocabulary that you miss the meaning of the song. The song is just beautiful. It says that while we're here on earth, we're just straying pilgrims. And we have a place promised to us by God that is no more sin, no more sickness, no more danger, and it is to that fair land that we go. And there we're going to see our Father. This song is an emotional song. The lyrics are pretty simple. So it's going to be really important that if you chose this song, that you do it showing that you mean it, if you understand what I'm saying. Okay, so without any further ado, I am a poor wayfaring stranger. I. Just point to yourself. In sign language, the finger pointed in any direction, that is your pronouns. So we got me, we have you. If you have somebody sitting next to them, it's him or her. If it's a book, you can say it and point to it. All of those pronouns are this finger, me. And me and I are the same sign, okay? I am, I'm gonna go sideways so you can see a little bit better, am. It's the letter A coming off of the chin and coming straight out. Now it's important that it's up here on the chin, not under the chin. This is the sign for not, which really changes the, the meaning of the song if we do that. So make sure it's coming off here at the chin. Am. A poor wayfaring stranger. Okay. Now I'm going to do these things in sentences and in phrases because that is the way to learn this. Don't learn them as individual words. I am. Okay. Think of that as... All one sign, I am a poor wayfaring stranger. Poor. Poor. It's like the uh, elbows being rubbed out of the coat jacket of someone you've seen that, that's poor. Okay? Poor. Uh, wayfaring stranger. Wayfaring. What is wayfaring mean? Uh, wayfaring. That means traveling or wandering about okay and so we're going to sign it sort of as wandering about this is you and this is you wandering about again i'm going to go sideways so you can kind of see what i'm doing i'm going this way and that way and I'm, but i'm going moving forward all right i'm just traveling along if you'd prefer you can just do traveling okay that's kind of like you're sitting on something and just traveling along wayfaring stranger Okay, this is a sign for strange. Strange. Again, I'll do it sideways so you can see it. Strange. Strange. Now, in sign language, we do the same thing in English. Okay? This is a sign for strange. What's the word for stranger? For a person who is strange. You put ER at the end, right? In sign language, this is kind of like ER at the end of a word making it a person. So, a stranger. Get it? While traveling through this world of woe, while, it's W's going out and then up. So we're going on like a roller coaster. Whoa! All right. While traveling through this world of woe, traveling, there's that sign again, traveling through, 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 make live long and prosper. All right. Now, if you can't do live long and prosper and you can have to do it this way, that's okay as well. Whatever way your fingers work. Uh, I do it with the center's ones, all right? Through, and your hand just kind of comes through. Palm is up. Through. This world of woe. This world. Now, this is the sign for world, okay? But the author is not talking about the planet. He's talking, not talking about the word world. He's talking about world. You know, everything around us. So, 
you start kind of with your hands together here and you kind of just go and you look around a little bit and then you do world and world is a W and you just kind of come around and W again W and you come around with W's again so you begin you end where you where you started okay of woe of woe You'll notice we're leaving out some little bitty words like a and an and the and of. We're just going to leave it out, okay? Of woe. So this world of woe. And woe isn't, hi, woe. No. What's the word woe mean? It's sadness. It's, it's an emotion, okay? And because it's an emotion, especially because it's an emotion, you really need to show it on your face. You can't do, whoa. That just doesn't say anything. That's just, I don't know what that is. Whoa. Get the eyebrows together. Show a little sadness. Cock your head a little bit. Um, however you reflect when you're not feeling happy, you're feeling down. Okay? Whoa. Your shoulders might even droop a little bit. Signing is a lot more than just world and woe. It is the whole body. So as you do this, feel woe. All right? Yet there's no sickness, toil, or danger. The tempo of the song is going to change here. And that woe needs to have the eyebrows up, the shoulders up, the face brightened because... In that fair land, there is no sickness, toil, or danger. Here we have woe. There we have happiness. So, yet, there, all right, the word there is just the hand kind of pointing somewhere. Over there, over there. It's directional. Where is the there that's being talked about here? It's being talked about there. We're talking about heaven. Okay? The song's about heaven. So we're going to have a lot of signs that kind of point up in this area. Because that's where heaven is. Heaven is upstairs and on the right. Alright? So, um, yet there's no sickness, toil, or danger. There, we're going to leave the word is out. We don't need it. It's a little word. The deaf don't use the little words. They just slow things down. Okay? Yet, Yet, that's a Y hand kind of going out and in up. Yet, there's no, and there's different ways of doing no. All right. No, yeah, I know something. No, no, you can't have it. No, we have none. Sort of like, yes, I have no uh, bananas. All right. None. So there's none danger. Or none, oh, sorry, let me back up here. None sickness. I'm getting ahead of myself. Sickness. You either got a headache, this is a finger, this is the center finger, headache and stomach ache. No sickness. Toil. And it's just your wrist kind of banging together. Toil. Nor danger. Nor danger. And the word nor, the sign for it is to shake your head. All right. So, if I were to say this, I would say, yet, there's no sickness, no toil, and no danger. See how I even say that with my head shaking? So, no, sick, no, no sickness, toil, or danger. Alright? So, my head is kind of moving to emphasize the no at the beginning there. I hope you caught that. Sickness, toil, danger is the A hand coming, and this hand's blocking. So the A hand trying to hit you in the nose, and this hand's blocking it. Don't make it so exaggerated, but no danger. In that bright land, in the, excuse me, where that in that bright world to which I go. I know I had that wrong. Uh, in that bright world to which we go. Okay. And the reason why I got mixed up there is because I'm going to use the word land there instead of the word world. Okay? We used world earlier.
to mean here, and I, I really want to make sure we separate that as we talk about heaven. So, in, take a sort of a hand, make a little cup out of it, and then put all your fingers together and put it in it. In that, and it's important for your eyes to look up there too. Don't be looking at me and go, that. It'd be kind of like me talking to you, having facing you and talking to somebody else, or talking to somebody else and facing you. To that, okay, in that, fair, let's see, in that bright land to which I go. In that bright land to which I go. To which I go. All right. Some of these words are thrown in here so it'll have meter in the song. Okay? To which I go. To which is really some of those words that are kind of thrown in extra so that the song will have a rhythm and a rhyme to it. Okay? So I'm just going to sign that. And it may be hard for you to practice it. In that bright land to which I go. I'm just going to say, I go. I'm going to sign that in. Me go. Land, rub your fingers together. And then make it an area. Land is a dirty area. It's kind of like your bedroom. <laughs> dirty area. And because if the land is up there, we're going to sign it up here. Okay? That land to which I go. Go is just rolling forward. Coming is coming backwards. And since I'm going there, I'm rolling towards them. Then we have the uh, 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 the refrain or the chorus. I'm going there to see my father. Which father? Father God. Okay. I'm going there to see my father. I, well, we already talked about that. Going, we already talked about that. There, we already talked about that. See my father. See, see. You can do this lots of different ways. Okay? See, you point to your eyes, and then your eyes become the ends of your fingers. Okay? Which is very nice. Then you can look up, and you can look down. You can look around corners. You can look on top of the refrigerator if you want to. Okay? But I'm going to be looking up. And for some reason, I don't know where I picked up the habit, I look with two eyes, two sets of eyes. Now, I guess it's because I wear glasses. If you want to do it with one or two, either way. Um, see my father. And a father is, okay, mother is get to the chin, father is up here. God the father is like Okay, grandfather is like this, like two. And while it might sound a little odd, uh, God the Father is like an exploding grandfather. All right? Father. And he just comes off the head. Okay? I'm going there no more to Rome. Or Rome, either way. Those are all signs we picked up from the previous verses. I'm only going over Jordan. What does that mean? What is Jordan? I'm only going... Well, Jordan's a river. Everybody knows that. Okay. Am I going to go cross a river? What's this song saying? We're going to sign it as I'm only going over Jordan. Okay. But I want you to know what it means. When God took Israel out of Egypt and they crossed over the Jordan, they went into the promised land. That's the picture that's being drawn here. And when we die, we cross over Jordan and we enter the promised land. Okay? And so I want you to think about the meaning of that as you sign this. I'm only going over Jordan. J River. Okay, that's why you sign that. Just make a J in the air. 
and then river. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only, only, I am only, only. Your knuckles start out and you kind of make a little twist in the air. I'm only going over Jordan. And because we're talking about heaven, and Jordan must be over here to get over there, right? So that's why we're going to sign it up over here. Jordan, I'm only going over home. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over home. Over. You have a little mound here, and you just kind of cross over it. Home. Touch your chin, touch your cheek. It's kind of like what Grandma does when you go to visit. She gives you a kiss on the cheek. Okay? Home. And home. Notice that I have my other hand up here pointing. That's a definer. Okay? Because I can say, I'm home. Or I'm going over there home. See the difference? Alright. Next verse. I know dark clouds will gather around me. I know dark clouds. Okay. I'm going to dip just a little bit here so you can see the clouds. They're up here, up in the air. And it's just kind of draw the clouds up here in the air. I, and I told you before, no, as in no, I know something, is to touch the head. Dark. Mm. It's kind of like your hands are coming over your face there a little bit. Don't leave them there a long time. It's dark. And this is, this is giving you a feeling of fear and of dread. So, it's not dark clouds will soon be around me. No, that doesn't show it at all. Kind of Close in on yourself a little bit. Show a little bit of fear. Show a little bit of... Okay? Do you want dark clouds to be around you? Not really. So get that feeling of dark doom and gloom kind of thing, alright? I know dark clouds will gather around me. Okay? I'm leaving out the word gather here. I know dark clouds will surround me is the way I'm signing that. I know dark clouds will gather around me. Okay? I know my... And the signs, uh, the open palm is also a pronoun. Yours and mine. His, hers, it, his, when we talk about God, okay, it's directional. My is mine, okay. I know my way. And way is kind of like while, only it doesn't go up. Way. Or you can just do this path, if you wish. Leave the W's off. Way is rough and steep. Is. It's kind of like the word am, only it's the letter I coming off the chin. Rough, hard, difficult. Okay? And it's kind of like hook fingers. Okay? And it, they're hard. Okay? Rough and steep. Okay? It's kind of, I'm going to sign the sign for mountain, is what I'm really doing. I'm going to hit rocks, and I'm going to make it go up. And because it's steep, I'm going to wiggle this hand just a little bit to show, emphasize that it's steep. Okay. But golden fields lie out before me. Okay. Again, we've gone through the darkness. And now our face needs to show the brightness. There's a contrast going on here. But 
golden. It has to touch the ear and come out into a Y hand. Fields is the letter F, and it's kind of the land, and you just kind of do an F out circling over it. Okay? But golden fields lie out, and it's just hands here coming out circling to let you see that there's an area there in front of me. Lie out before me. And then hands down, hands down, and they just kind of come up together before me. Where God's redeemed shall ever sleep. Where? And it's not really a question. It's a there, really. Where? God's? Alright. Sign for God. Kind of like you're going to go shake hands, come out, and come down. God. And remember I said something about my and there being possession in the letter in an open palm. Okay, my. So God's, God, His, if you want to think of it that way, redeemed shall ever sleep. This is redeem. It's the letter R's and it's kind of cross hands and they just come apart. And then I put a little finished at the end. All right. Redeem. This is an ED ending for a word for the most part. Okay? It's the best English translation is hast, if you wish to have a word to go with that. It's more like ED, all right? Uh, shall ever sleep. Shall ever, shall always. It's a single finger circling in the air. Shall always sleep. Okay? And then we have the refrain again, okay? I'm going there to see my Savior, okay? Remember stranger? Stranger. We put this at the end to make it a person. This is a sign for save. Savior. All right? Savior. I'm going there to see my Savior. I'm going there to see my Savior. Okay? Again, working in phrases instead of individual words will make this be a lot smoother for you. To sing His praise forevermore. Okay? Two. We can leave the word out or we can put in the word why. Either one. I'm going there to see my Savior, why? Sing His praises forevermore. Or we could sign it, I'm going there to see my Savior, to sing His praise forevermore. Just leave the word out if you wish. Either way. If you're going to put it in there, though, make sure it's the word why, not the word to. The word to is just being used here to, to give you the reason why. It's not actually a direction. It's not actually going someplace. All right. Um, there to sing his praises forevermore. Okay. I'm going there to sing. This is just a hand. I'm going to get it sideways so you can see it. The deaf don't have a whole lot of song signs for singing. Think about that for a minute. We've got chorus, and we've got song, and we've got sing, and we've got sung, and we've got uh, choral, and we've got harmony. We've got all of these words for singing because our ears know the different parts. The deaf have one sign. Sing. Sing, sung, chorus. Sometimes you'll see a C if it's a chorus, but all the signings, for all the songs type words are right here. Sing His praise. His praise. It's like a little golf clap. You ever watch a golf tournament? If not, <laughs> okay. Forevermore. It's a circle in the air and then a Y hand going out. A circle in the air and a Y hand going out. Forevermore. Now you know all the signs, okay? Because the rest of this is just repeat. I'm only going over Jordan. I'm only going over, over home. I'm going there to see my father. I'm going there 
no more to roam. You see, it just, it just repeats itself after that. So now, at this point, you know all of the signs. I think it's really, really, really important, though, that you really, really focus on um, making this thing real and not just standing there like a robot or a soldier at attention and just giving the signs. You know, we can do that in our talk if we wish. We just say the words. Yes, it is understandable, but it is a terrible way to communicate. That's the way signing is if you don't get your face in it and you don't get your body into it, okay? Look forward to seeing you there at LTC. Once you get the L once you get this vocabulary down right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the song in slow-mo, okay? Uh, I'm going to uh, butcher the song and sing it slowly in sign, and then you can practice with it, okay?